Hi guys. So today's video is going to be a list of books that I would like to at some point reread. This is going to probably sound a little ridiculous, but maybe some of you can relate to this. I feel bad rereading books when when there's so many other amazing books out there, but at the same time, I don't feel that bad because I'm going to reread these books at some point. The first one is one that I'm pretty sure anybody who's a fan of the series is also probably on board with at least the idea of rereading this book, and that would be Way of Kings. I don't want to just reread Way of Kings, I actually want to reread all three of the current Stormlight Archive books that are currently out, and that is a little bit daunting because they are all over a thousand pages. I don't mind that he's going to take some time to get the next book out. He's basically writing three books in one, but even though I'd like to think I have a pretty decent memory, these are massive books and I feel like there are going to be some details that I'll have forgotten. More than that though, I actually kind of want to reread these books just because I want to reread them. I absolutely loved them. I loved the characters. I loved the relationships between the characters and I definitely think that going back and reading it again, I'm going to see things that maybe I didn't see before or certain moments are going to mean more knowing where they eventually go. Next up, I really, really want to reread the first couple of volumes of the Fable series by Bill Willingham. I've only read the first few, but I absolutely love them. If you guys haven't heard of this series, it follows a bunch of fairy tale characters who have had to leave their homeland and are are trying to go about their everyday lives living in New York City glamour to look like regular people. When I read it, I absolutely loved it. I'm also a huge fan of the video game Wolf Among Us, which is supposed to be a prequel to the series. And I kind of just want to get back into it. I want to read the first few again so that I can go into it fresh when I get into the rest of the series. My husband's a big fan of it. He's a, a big fan of the first main story arc and that's the, the main arc that I want to get back into, but I don't want to forget the stuff that happened in the first few. The next thing I want to reread are the Strongbow Saga books by Judson Roberts. There's a few different reasons why I want to reread the series. One, I absolutely love them, so you know, there's that. It is a historical fiction series about Vikings and the author totally got screwed over by his publishing company and he's now taking his time to print them himself. It's just kind of sad what went down and it's a shame because these books are amazing. Two, I actually really want to give a great in-depth non-spoiler book review for the first book. I might maybe do a series review for the first four that are currently out. That way you guys will have a little more information than just me saying it's great and it's a historical series about Vikings. And I also want to reread it in preparation for the fifth book. It's supposed to either come out this year or maybe the beginning of next year and there's supposed to be two more installments. So I really want to refresh my memory as to all the things that transpired in the first four before picking up the fifth one. The next series that I want to reread is actually a middle grade series and I rarely pick up middle grade books again, but I really want to reread the Bartimus trilogy. Just like with the Strongbow Saga, I do think that these books are underrated. I know a lot of people have heard about them or maybe read them back in the day, but I don't think that they're that popular now that booktube is more of a thing. And I actually remember thinking that this trilogy had one of the all-time best endings and whenever I go back to the third one and I look at the ending I'm like is it as good as I remember and I read the last couple lines I'm like oh my gosh that ending is amazing. I also recall it having a really great character arc. The main character Nathaniel starts off as a young boy in the first one and he is taken sort of as an apprentice to this magician but the magician is really terrible to him so Nathaniel decides that he is going to study really hard and maybe learn some spells beyond his years to try and get revenge against the magician. So in the first one we see him as this young boy that we empathize and sympathize with and then he kind of changes throughout the next couple of books and I thought the the way in which we see him kind of have his ups and downs was done really really well. Not to mention that the djinn or genie that he summons in the first book and that makes appearances in the next couple is hilarious. I remember thinking it was very very entertaining. I absolutely loved the way the author wrote this particular character and I really would love to go back and reread these so I can do just like with Strongbow Saga, I would love to do a series review for it, but I also just kind of want to reread it for fun. Next book that I want to reread is Roar by Cora Carmack. As far as fantasy books go, this one does have quite a strong 
romance presence in it and I don't usually like there to be too much romance in my fantasy books but this one I enjoyed it I thought she did a good job with the romantic elements of the book and the fantastical elements were really interesting to me that said the author did find out that she has some health problems and she's had to postpone the release of the next book which is totally fine I don't mind waiting I want what's best for her and her health and I'm super happy to support her in the meantime but i don't want to forget what happened in this book i think often when we read a series or we read a couple books in a series we're more likely to remember just because we digested more we took in these characters more we were with them for longer but because i only read the first one i wouldn't mind giving myself a refresher before the next one is eventually released. And the last book that I want to reread is Elantris, also by Brandon Sanderson. I love pretty much all of the Cosmere books that I have read. I am not even close to being ready to reread Mistborn because that book, that series, the first era trilogy destroyed me. However, with Elantris, I feel like this one, I just really didn't get the the most out of it because I was going back and forth between reading it and then listening to the audiobook and I just personally didn't really connect with the narrator of this particular one I it's a random bookmark in here I didn't really connect with the narrator of this particular book it wasn't Michael Kramer who does Stormlight and Mistborn and it wasn't whoever the lady was I feel really bad it wasn't the same person who did Warbreaker and for me I think that that might have hindered my enjoyment of this so I would really love to go back and just read it all either just reading reading and not listening to the audiobook or maybe doing those uh graph what are they called graphic audio or something editions where they have literally like a cast of actors to do all the different characters and stuff I just I just feel like this book didn't get my full attention the way the other Cosmere books have. Anyway, that's it for the books that I want to reread. Let me know what books you guys want to reread. Let me know if you feel the same about any of these particular ones. That's it though. Thank you so much for watching. Happy reading to all of you and I'll see you guys later. Bye.